Hello guys and welcome to today's video. So today we'll be learning about bee trees. Bee trees are a special type of tree that are used to process database. Database as in blocks of memories uh, that are generally used for various processes and other, other functions in a computer are generally stored in the memory. And the blocks are stored in the memory or sectors of memory as blocks and they are there they are usually stored as nodes and they are they follow the binary tree, b tree concept so what are b tree let's be simple b trees are a special type of tree uh, so we have done a binary trees right so in a binary tree one node the parent node had two children right this one the left child and the right child so the degree of this node is what 2 we can call this degree of node as branching factor right so the factor by which one node is branching the branching factor now suppose we have uh, now suppose uh, what if what if there is a ternary tree now for a ternary tree the branching factor will be 3 that is the degree will be 3 so we'll have another children here right now what if the branching factor is 4 so we'll have 4 children so simple right what if the branching factor is m so we'll have dot 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 m number of children m number of child nodes right now let us get to know the properties of a b tree before going to the insertion deletion and searching related operations so okay so the basic properties of a b tree are like there are m child node pointers and m minus 1 keys so what does this mean suppose there is one node uh, in a b tree and the the uh, the value of m is generally given is has to be given right so the value of m has to be given that is the number of uh, there's a branching factor or you can say the degree of the binary b tree has to be given so if suppose m is 5 i'm assuming m is 5 for all the examples here in this video so if suppose m is 5 so basically uh, this will have suppose um like so th there will be f five child nodes right one two then uh, three four and five so there will be five child nodes child child nodes again right so there will be five child nodes and in between this child nodes that is in between every two child node pointers so th these are basically pointers that points to the next child node right and again this is a pointer that points to the next node but what happens here is the keys lie here keys means the value the data right and actually in database the application of b3 is basically in database and blocks so basically records are stored inside this 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 key place so we don't place the records we don't consider for understanding purpose now we don't consider records so we consider they are just in simple numbers or uh, you can just consider the keys or values right so that's the first point now the second point is uh, within each node the keys are in increasing order so there can be five child nodes that means there can be four children right there can be uh, there can be four keys sorry so there can be four keys suppose k1 k2 k3 and k4 so k1 has to be less than k2 and k2 has to be less than k3 and so on right i hope you understood this part so all the keys um all the keys has to be stored in an increasing order so all the data has to be stored in an increasing order in a binary tree so why are we doing all these things so the properties of binary tree are essential to keep the um, searching sorting deletion and other operations I'm sorry sorting is not possible searching uh, insertion deletion all these things in the b3 and in the order of log of n 
or rather log of height right the height of the bit tree will determine the uh, complexity of the bit tree so order of height or bet better let us call it order of n log n sorry order of log n so they have to be in increasing order uh each node should have at most at most m child nodes and m minus 1 keys and values so the maximum it's the upper bound right one node can have maximum of m child nodes m is what will be mentioned in the uh, bit tree itself it's if it's a five way tree so there will be m will be five if it's a four way tree so m will be four if it's a six way tree m will be six so based on that you'll get to know the branching factor that's m and depending on the m the maximum number of child nodes from one node is m and the maximum number of keys and values that is the maximum number of uh, data maximum number of records maximum number of values that can be stored in the node is m minus 1 whereas it can point to m child nodes so, so in this case we uh, this node can point to five child nodes and it can store a maximum of four remember that i have t i am telling it's a at most at most means this is the upper bound okay um now the next property says each node except the root let's forget the root for now except the root each every node in the b tree should have at least so this is the lower bound so here is the upper bound and here is the lower bound it should have at least a ceiling value of m by 2 So, what is the ceiling value of m by two in this case? So, five by two means two, and the ceiling five by two means two point five, and the ceiling value of two point five is three. Right. So, each node in this B tree should have at least that is minimum that is a lower bound should be three. That is, it should point to at least three child nodes. There should be at least three branching. Right and maximum how many branching? Maximum should be five. That is m. So the branching should be from ceiling of m by two to m. Right. The uh, these are the these are the limits of child pointers. That is the number branching it can happen degree. Right. Degree of every node. Now, what did we study about the branching of? That is the uh, what what should one node contain? the keys and values how many m minus 1 right that is in our example it should be 4 so this node should contain maximum of 4 um maximum of 4 keys or values or records right and property 4 says that it should contain at least that is the lower bound should be at least ceiling of m by 2 minus 1 so what is the ceiling of m by 2 that is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 ceiling of that is 3 minus 1 so that is 2 there should be at least two datas two keys stored and a maximum of four keys stored so these are the basic properties uh of how many child and how many uh, child nodes and how many keys that can be stored so you have understood the lower bound and upper bound please go through the properties one second and let me finish this one uh so all leaf nodes are at the same level this is a very important thing so in a binary search tree or in a binary tree what did we see that the elongation of the tree happened in a linear longitudinal manner like uh, it kept on growing in levels right the number of levels kept on increasing but here we'll see that the number of level we are trying to reduce the number of levels and we are trying to keep the b tree as much collective as much uh, you can see like as much bushy as possible like uh, it's kind of a collected tree it's not least number of linear uh depth or least no we'll try to minimize the number of levels basically simple as that right so all the leaf nodes are at the same level uh, and have the same structure so all the leaf nodes suppose these are the leaf nodes so they should be at the same level right it's not as a binary tree where one can go to this part and this right subtree can go to another level and then another level it's not like that or a binary search tree whatever it is it's not like this right even if you consider a balanced binary search tree there will be 
some difference but here all the leaf nodes should be at the same level that's a mandatory condition property and they should have the same structure as the internal nodes child pointer of leaf nodes point to null definitely then this is a normal thing that you know that since they are pointing to no other children they should contain null now something to tell is that suppose the value contained here is the key content here is k1 right and the key content here is k2 right and the key content here is k3 now we have understood from property number 2 property number 2 that k1 should be less than k2 and k2 should be less than k3 that is it should be an increasing order right in this place it should be an increasing order in one node now the subtree that is the next child uh, in between k1 and k2 keys should be that is all the values in this subtree right in this subtree should be greater than k1 but less than k2 this is a very important thing to note because this will be used while we are searching the tree while we are inserting data in the tree while we are deleting values from the b tree similarly all the values in this subtree will be greater than k2 and less than k3 and so on so that's all for this video go through the properties and these are these properties are very essential because when you'll be inserting or deleting values or searching any value or key inside a b tree these properties will be very essential for construction and deletion of the b tree so that's all for this video keep watching like and subscribe